Yeah, how's everyone doing? So I've come across a lot of people having trouble with solid state drives in the Alienware machine. Even I had trouble getting SATA free speeds when setting up my system. So I've decided to make a few videos to help a couple people out there. These videos are gonna be spread across two to three videos. So keep an eye out for those on my channel. Right now, basically what I wanted to do with my system was to have the solid state drive as a boot drive and to use the hard drive that the computer came with as a storage drive. Now this is the solid state drive that I've chosen. It's a force free. As you can see, it can clock up to SATA free speeds. It's a real good man. Now before we begin, just please make sure that you do have recovery options. If you haven't, check out a video that I've made about using the Alien Respawn software that comes with all your machines to create a factory image of your computer. You'll be able to use this factory image on any hard drive, even if it's a different size, model, make, whatever, it won't make a difference. One thing that you need to be aware of is that Dell warranty will become void if you follow this video because it doesn't cover self-servicing. So first off, just a few recommendations to avoid electrostatic discharge that can harm your computer. All you need to do is just keep yourself grounded or like me, you can work on a rubber mat. If you don't know what I'm on about, I'll just add a few useful links in my description. So be sure to check those out in your own time. Make sure no devices are attached and that your PC is turned off at the mains and obviously is shut down. Flip your laptop upside down. Make sure that you're working on a surface that won't scratch the back of the laptop. Remove the battery by sliding the release sideways. Below this you'll find two screws and these two screws are just holding the back panel cover in place. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove these and slide the panel away from you and then lift it up. As you can see the M17 XR3 comes with two hard drive bays. The primary bay will be labeled module zero and the secondary bay will be labeled module one. For those that are gonna be installing a solid state drive, I'd recommend that you use module one, the secondary bay, because the primary module has been known to give some issues. Now the hard drive themselves are secured to the laptop using these frames. They're held in place by three screws each. So just undo these, ensuring that the hard drive isn't still hot from usage. You can lift this frame cover away from the PC board using the black colored pull tab. If your system only came with one hard drive, in the spare case you'll find an interposer, which is pretty much just an adapter to go on the end of your hard drive. The hard drive itself is attached to this frame cover by four screws, so you need to undo those if you're gonna be swapping a hard drive. And don't forget to be keeping your hard drive in an anti-static packet until you're gonna be using it. So once you've attached your hard drive to this frame cover, screw that packet back onto the system and ensure that the hard drive is fully seated. And before you put that back cover back on, just make sure that there's no stray screws or any dirt or debris in your PC. Just slide and screw the panel back into place and slot the battery front end first and, and push the back end down. Now for those that want to install an operating system to this new drive, you may need to change the boot settings in your BIOS. So to do that, just power up your PC, hit F2 on the load screen to enter your BIOS, scroll to the boot menu and change the values using plus or minus keys so that the hard drive bay in question is at the top of the list. Now because I've used a solid state drive and I've put it into module one, that's the secondary bay, I need to put the secondary bay at the top of the list. Once you've done all that, just hit F12 to save and exit. For those of you that are gonna be putting a solid state drive in the machine, the next step is gonna be the installation of your operating system and all the drivers. Now do check out my next video, it's gonna be on using Alien Respawn that comes with all your machines to copy Windows and all the drivers onto this new hard drive in one big easy step. Just a little side note, if you've installed a solid state drive that is SATA free, you may need to flash your BIOS as well. But don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you how to do all that in another video.